Welcome back to another episode of Trying Something New. I am your host, John Westbrook, and Lexi Westbrook, who's all washed out from the sun. That's better. Uh, and we're still in our Thailand box from universalyums.com. And today we're going to try... You don't want to try the... No, I'm not... Farm fried shrimp and salad cream roll? No. That's like putting... Seaweed wrapped of... potato sticks. I, I, Ew. I, I, maybe I'll try that by myself. That's like wrapping a piece of seaweed around a shrimp and dipping it in mayonnaise. No, it's like... like... That's disgusting. I don't like seaweed and I don't like mayonnaise. You've never had seaweed, so you don't, I don't know. I don't care. I don't like All it. Alright, anyway. so then what would you like to try? The uh, sticky rice? No. The I banana like, coconut roll? I want the, the, the salt and... Orchard banana chews? You probably can't have that. Salt and sour chips. Salt and sour chips. Alright. It's a tiny little bag. Well, then we can have two. We can have the rice too. Rice is pretty Sticky rice? Yeah. Alright, we'll save the shrimp roll. As long as it's not too sticky. For later. Alright, let's I'll try these the, chips first. No, the rice first. Well, the rice first. The chips will probably be better. I don't know. Sticky rice with coconut cream and mango. And that package is squishy. We're gonna need scissors. Oh, I guess you can tear it open right there. I think we'll need a couple of uh, paper towels though to put it out. Um. All right. Rice is eaten with every meal in Thailand. In fact, the Thai verb to eat literally translate to translates to eat rice. Rice is even de deified, deified as May Fosop, aka the rice goddess, who watches over locals to ensure they have enough to eat. Given all this, it's not surprising that mango sticky rice is Thailand's most beloved dessert. To enjoy this yum like a true local, heat it in the microwave for 15 seconds, and better savor, and better savor every last grain, unless, uh, excuse me, otherwise, may fosop may come find you. Yeah, so open that up, put it in a on a plate, plate, and uh, microwave it for 15 seconds, please. While I read us some interesting facts about Thailand. Oh, so they've got a recipe for gang dang guy, Thailand's famous red curry. I have to take a picture of that. Look what it looks like. Look what it looks like. Ooh. Disgusting. Looks like a, looks like fish, actually. Ew, I hate fish. <laughs> I mean, I like fish. Oh, don't want to read the trivia questions. Where are all the fun facts? Explore the temples of Thailand. Inside Bangkok's Wat Tremit, you'll find a 5.5 ton, 15 foot tall, solid gold Buddha. The biggest in the world. Fun fact, ancient Thai people hid this multi-million dollar marvel from Burmese invaders by temporarily coating it in an ugly concrete. That's cool, you gotta see the picture. Ew. Five point five ton, fifteen tall, fifteen foot tall, solid gold Buddha. Look at that. 
Um, a knife, so we'll cut it in half. You said you wanted to try it. You touching it? You touched it already? Yeah, when I was opening it, I didn't mean to. Is it slimy? Oh, I might need a fork for that. Ooh, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> like, it's a Latin. What's that thing in the middle? The mango. On oh, the mango. I like it. What do you think? Weird. It's got a. What's in it? Coconut cream, rice, mango, sugar. Oh, it's, it is sweet. You don't like it that much? You don't have the rest of mine. Alright, I like it. What would you like to rate this as? I'm gonna give this a two. Really? I don't know. I'm gonna give it a two and a half. It's okay, but I don't mm, like it that much. Where is it? Um, right number four in there. I like it. I'm going to give it a uh, I don't know. I'm torn because the, the chips were so spicy. Oh, I didn't tell you. I didn't tell them. After we finished our last episode that evening, I finished the bag. And there was all the, the red peppers at the bottom of the devil chips. And I ate them and my eyes were watering. I was coughing. But we gave those a four. They were good. They and gave this me was a stomach ache and a headache after, but still good. I think this is just as unique and just as tasty. And you're giving it a four? I am giving it a four. Got a sweet flavor, a hint of coconut, a hint of mango. Well, you're probably not gonna like this. One. And the rice is tasty. Let's do a trivia question first, please. Okay. Because it's salt and sour chips, and you don't like sour. I don't like sour. You're right. Okay. Um, a chef in Thailand uses a blank to cook his famous chicken. A thousand mirrors, a mirrors, 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 a flamethrower, an ancient oven, or boiling sea water. A chef in Thailand uses blank to cook his famous chicken. <clears throat> a flamethrower would just burn it up. The ancient oven sounds feasible. I don't see how boiling seawater would be the make it famous. So it's either mirrors, I could see that. No, it's a chicken that's famous, not his. His famous chicken. A thousand mirrors or an ancient oven. This one. Doesn't say how if this is contemporary or not. If it's contemporary, I'm gonna say the mirrors. But it's contemporary. Um. Today or rec very recent. Oh well, you're correct. All right. Ding 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 A ding ding. Mirrors. Now, the last one, you didn't tell us what that was about. 
kids in Thailand, Thailand's Mokan tribe can see perfectly underwater. Yeah. With training, Mokan children are able to make their pupils smaller, much like dolphins, allowing them to see underwater and collect clams and sea cucumbers on the ocean floor. Because the human eye loses adaptability with age, it's up to these incredible kids to gather the coveted crustaceans. That was last episode's trivia question. And today, apparently, chicken can be fried, grilled, roasted, and sunburnt using 1,000 perfectly aligned mirrors to harness the sun's uber hot rays. Roadside chicken vendor Sila Sutherat needs just 12 minutes to cook his poultry to perfection. Sounds like the crispiest chicken under the sun. Well, that only works if it's a sunny day. Oh, we have to read about these chips. You don't have to. Tasto, same people that made the uh, devil chips. Tasto salt and sour. Salty lemon potato chips. Wow. Oh. Maybe you need some. Oh, you got it open? If it's rare snacks you're after, any Thai person would point you to the same place, Bangkok. The capital city's street markets are the epicenter of the country's kookiest flavors, filled with everything from fried tadpoles, wasabi-flavored salmon skin, cuttlefish-flavored peas, and even fried silkworms. Ew! But there is one snack you won't find. Salt and vinegar chips. <laughs> it's funny, it says gasp right there. Yeah, we were shocked too until we tasted the more popular salty lemon chips, which have the same sour salty profile, but with a subtle fruitness that might be even more addictive. You might like these better than your salt and vinegar chips. That's not possible. It's not possible. These are disgusting. No, I'm not. Huh? No, they're not. Ugh. They're not as bad as your salt and vinegar chip. Excuse me. <laughs> but they're almost as bad. How come I'm way off frame, man? Because you're too tall. Because I'm too tall. How's that? That's better. You're all washed out from the sun. There you go. Keep my head turned. Right? I'm all washed out. No, I'm okay. Washed out. Okay. Washed out. Okay. Finish those up. They're good. They're like, like regular salty potato chips and then the lemon comes in. Yeah, there's this light flavor to that. How would you like to rate these chips? I'm going to give them a three and a half. Really? I'm going to go with two and a half. And I guess I'll end today's episode. Again, we're, we're running long, but we did two. So... Until next time, always remember to try something new. Give us a like, give us a comment, give us a share. Please subscribe. Turn on those notification bell bells. Ding, ding. Ding, ding. You're a funny kid. Until next time, bye-bye.